All right, guys, you're here in my humble abode. Uh, we are going to be talking about a new segment and a new series for your online platforms. It's called Hot Fireman Dips and Safety Tips. My name is Joe. I'm a fireman from Brooklyn, born and raised. We're going to take this real quality food that a lot of you are interested in and show you what you can do with it in different and unusual ways to produce some real good flavor. Okay guys, so here we are with our fresh bacon uh, from the butcher in Brooklyn on 3rd Avenue. Uh, we're gonna show you a good sizzle. Um, we have our cast iron pan. I only use cast iron uh, when it comes to some frying and sauteing. Uh, it's a little bit more challenging to cook with, uh, but if you do it and do it consistently, you're gonna produce some really good flavors. So we're going to take our bacon, no need to grease the pan, uh, the fat and the bacon will kind of melt off and do its thing. See that sizzle? That's kind of what the, what the goal is. We don't want to put it in in a cold pan. Uh, you'll have, it'll just take a little bit longer and the bacon won't cook as well to be honest. We're going to use about six strips of bacon today for our warm yogurt and bacon dip and uh, hopefully you enjoy. Be careful when you go out and you get your fresh cut bacon from the butcher. Uh, it cooks a lot faster than the store-bought bacon that you get from the supermarket. Don't mind my caramelized onions on the stove. Uh, what household doesn't have caramelized onions going every minute of the day? Uh, as I mentioned, this bacon, fresh bacon, uh, there is no better flavor. Um, a lot of times, even that, you know, some of these other real natural brands uh, that you're wasting your money on in the supermarket, go to a butcher and get real bacon. Um, at the end of the day, uh, you're going to have a piece of bacon that is absolutely delicious. Warm yogurt and bacon dip. We're going to cover all the ingredients right now. We'll have a posting of the, and a list of the ingredients as we go, so you have exact measurements. I know some of you are type A and you need to know every little single bit uh, that goes into this wonderful dip. So we have a little fresh cracked black pepper. Uh, don't buy that stuff that's already sitting, already cracked. Um, and it just produces a way more authentic flavor. Some kosher salt, some onion powder, some garlic powder, some room temperature cream cheese some sour cream, some Chobani plain Greek yogurt, some Hellman's mayo. My girlfriend is from Nashville. Lord help you if you do not use Hellman's, okay? Don't do this recipe unless it's Hellman's. Extra sharp, uh, I'm sorry, sharp white Cracker Barrel cheese and some fresh parsley. That in addition to the bacon, you got yourself a magical dip. Everybody, we're back. We're gonna check on our warm yogurt and bacon dip. As you can see, I kept it in our baking tray because uh, it did spill over a little bit. We're gonna throw it down on a hot plate. Look how beautiful that looks. Nice and crisp on the edges, beautiful. We're gonna take our bacon. We're gonna sprinkle that bacon right on top just for a little garnish. Beautiful. Some fresh parsley. Look at that. Salute. Enjoy. All right, guys, so we just spent a whole lot of time cooking some really, really great flavors, and we put together a great dip. We're going to talk a little bit about burn injuries today. Uh, from a safety standpoint, I'm a firefighter. I always want to make sure that you guys are safe in the kitchen. First thing, if the burn is of such severity that you think you need medical attention, call 911. If you have some type of burn where you have some clothing or jewelry, if possible, you want to make sure if you can remove the jewelry, do so. If the burn is a part of where the clothing is, leave the clothing on. Don't peel it off. Lastly, we want to make sure that you cover that burn injury with a clean, dry cloth. Be safe, guys. All right, guys, this was Hot Fireman Dips and Safety Tips. I'll see you next time. Remember, 
This is proper.